Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about silage, both how to make it and then where you will use it. We will only be talking about loose silage, the stuff that you put in these silos. If you're looking for how to do silage bales, that will be in a separate tutorial that I will link in the description. So there are two places to put, um, well okay, silage is created from fermenting grass chaff or hay. Uh, you'll put them in the silos and then cover, uh, compact it, cover it, and wait for it to ferment. You can either put them here in the biogas plant, you'll see kind of in the middle, upper middle of the map, or there is one down by your cows, which we'll jump to. And we'll talk, well basically because you'll need those for, uh, for their feed. So if you look down here, right here, is a, kind of a smaller silo and you'll see I have some in there for my cows. So let's jump back up to the biogas plant. All right, we have some ready to go. You'll see in the left silo right there, I have some blanketed. That's actually bugged right now. Uh, if you put it in a weird shape like that, don't ask why I did, uh, when you go to uncover it, it won't. So that's actually supposed to be uncovered and usable, but it's not. So hopefully that bug gets fixed so I can get my 250,000 uh, units of silage out of there. So right now we have 186,000, uh, it is compacted. So basically what you'll do, grass, chaff, or hay, you'll come in here and you'll dump it. Now in this game, you don't just hit the unload button, you have to force unload. So if I hit control I, um, you'll see that's unload here. Go ahead and do that and you'll see my fill level chaff go up. Now it says fill level chaff, but it doesn't have to be chaff. As I've said, grass and hay also do the same thing. Um, my biggest tip when unloading into these silos, make sure you try to sort of evenly distribute it. I did not do that um, over there on that right one, and you can see it created a huge mess. It took forever to get to 100% compacting, uh, and it doesn't even work now. So try to kind of when you unload it, just try to, uh, like I said, just distribute it even, evenly, and then uh, every time you put new chaff, silage, or hay in here, go ahead and get the compacting up to 100% before you put another load in, and just keep it nice and uh, low like this. So, uh, the other important thing is that you have to have 10% fill before you can cover it. So right now I'm at 200,000. I I'm pretty sure these are a million again, so as long as you get to 100,000, um, you'll be able to... Oops, got some of my bucket there, I'll dump out. You'll be able to cover it, but if you're at like 20, 30, 40,000 and you're not getting the option to cover it, even though it's compacted, it's probably that you just don't have enough in there. So, I'd, yeah, just get to 100,000 usually is a good, a good um, unit to get to before you cover it. Now it's at 100% compacting, blanket silo, I'll hit R, and now it's going to start fermenting. Now from here it's going to take six game hours to, oh, we can see some of my chaff is outside the bunker, uh, so I just need to pick that up and probably throw it over here. So it'll take six, six game hours, I'm going to go ahead and skip forward to 1221, and we will unblanket this. All right, we're coming up on 1221 here, and you can see that the silage is at 100%. So now that it's fermented all the way, this whole thing is ready to use, and all you have to do is go up to it and open silo, and a little chunk will be revealed. And then as you take from this chunk, uh, this will automatically start rolling back. So for some reason in this one, they didn't want to just unblanket all of it, so they, they did this. Um, I did really, really quickly want to show the leveling tool, which is new to this game. I wouldn't recommend using this to uh, compact. Uh, I, I really recommend just compacting it as you unload uh, new loads into it. But if you ever need to push, push it around, it's good for that. You can see it sort of shoves it, and then you can lift it up and make sure it stays there. Um, it works pretty well for a belt system I'll show in my belt system tutorial, but I would say that's about all the leveler is good for. Um, Alright, so, you have silage, not too difficult to make, 
put stuff in there, blanket it, wait, just make sure you have enough stuff. Now, what do you do with it? There's basically two uh, main reasons for silage. One, you can sell it right over there uh, in that little bin uh, and make a little bit of money. When you make the money, it'll also make some digestate in that tank over there, which can be used as slurry uh, for fertilizer. So basically, you can get your bucket or silage fork or a system of belts uh, and dump it in there. And you'll see at the top right, I'll make some money. There's your income. If you look on the sheet here, you can find silage, $482 per uh, thousand liters, I guess. And then about a third of that will be converted to digestate over here. And you can see I have about 557. And again, that's used in the slurry tanks. You can see the icon right there. That is digestate. So you get that by uh, turning in silage to the uh, biogas plant. Again, if you want to see a kind of a nice belt system, check out my belt system tutorial. Uh, and you can basically just automate getting silage from there to there. Now, the other main use, as I alluded to earlier, is to feed your cows. So if we go down there really fast, maybe, there we go. Um, not only do they take, so let's look at uh, the animals menu. So cows, they take silage and hay here, but more importantly, it's in their power food, their mixed ration. Uh, the mixed ration, the power food will definitely be a separate tutorial, but you do 100% need silage for that to get cows to 100% productivity. So that is really all there is to say about silage. Just remember to fill it up uh, with enough chaff, hay, or um, chaff, hay, or grass. You can tell this bunker is a little smaller. I have 37 silage, and I was able to blanket it. So if you don't want to spend a lot of time at the biogas, go down here to your cows. Yeah, and then either sell it or and or. Uh, use it to feed your cows. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, comment and go ahead and ask. I will try to get back to you. Leave a like and or dislike. Subscribe if you want. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.